perspective a day in my life slash give you guys a whole update on my grad school because I realized that we didn't really discuss about it before. I know that I had mentioned I was going to grad school and now I'm a year in and I need a year left. I graduate next year in the summer, which is crazy, but I'm just doing my homework right now. Um, I'm actually doing online summer school for the summer, but I normally go in the fall and the spring, but right now, I decided to do online because your girl needed somewhat of a break and now I'm finally being able to like kind of enjoy my summer just a little bit. These headphones have helped me a lot in uh, public scenarios because it has noise cancellation which is crazy so love that and right now there's a lot of people and I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm on week, what week am I on? I think I'm on week three. I just admitted my week three which is they were discussing like social cognitive theory and I had to like basically just do a discussion board for this one so that one I just admitted I kind of want to do week four already um, which will be this upcoming week and yeah I don't know so I might actually head to my campus because I kind of want to see if the bookstore is open um, just to see if I'm able to basically get the C set books I know they have some digitally, so I might do that as well. If you guys are curious of what I got to drink, I got some good old matcha, but uh, yeah, I already finished it, so. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> well, the bookstore is closed, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, geez, one, it, 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 is, it is freaking hot, I'm sweating. Okay, hi guys, so, um, I just got to my campus, and, and as you guys saw, the campus bookstore was closed, which, to be honest, I'm not too surprised it is, what is that? This spot right here is one of my favorite spots. This is actually where I don't even think, like, is that the ice cream man? Because I'm about to go get us some ice cream. Uh, this spot in particular is where, like, after my class or something, um, they have, like, on campus, like, an acai bowl spot. And I used to come here um, with my boyfriend, and we used to eat ice cream together here right after our class was over. Or, like, we'll wait for each other, and then we'll, like, be here after. But we'll talk about that a whole nother day <laughs> but um i wanted to bring you guys to my campus one so we can like chit chat and catch up because one i was kind of like when i was at the coffee shop right now i was kind of in shock because i didn't realize i guess how much time really has flown here while i've been in my graduate program i've been in my graduate program for like about a year now and let me just say it graduate school definitely uh kicked my butt it's been a complete blessing to even get the chance to you know pursue even a further like my master's program i remember when i literally was like telling you guys not too long ago like that i was gonna apply for grad school and fast forward a year now um i'm a year into my grad school which is insane to think because again it it feels like it was just yesterday when i applied and as i'm sitting here right now because i'm actually am in summer school my program itself is a two-year program so i do graduate uh this or well, next summer of 2020 three 2024 and honestly just a complete overload of excitement because one i don't know like just you guys been through on this journey with me for so long if you go back to my channel like i used to vlog when i was doing my bachelor's degree and i don't know i guess I, it makes me like excited but like nervous because then i get to actually like honestly i guess really jumpstart like teaching and all of that and i was a preschool teacher for a little bit and i loved it <laughs> and I had to obviously leave my preschool job so I can finish up my schooling and right now again I am in summer school so my program did require me to be in school during the summer however I had found out that two of my courses or like my master's courses I could have done online so I was like I'm gonna do that <laughs> so for those who might be new to our little our little family channel here you guys may know that I got my bachelor's degree in child development and then do my master's 
and education, but also doing their uh, teaching credentials as well. So it's like a dual program, which is super sick. So I get to basically knock out Los Dos and Una Vez. I'm actually doing my first two master courses. I'm basically done with my credentials and technically if I wanted to, I could just graduate right now but I do want to get my master's in it and I feel like I have to be candid with you guys and say like I see now why a lot of people towards their master's program always feel like they're just like okay I'm done because I there was times where I was very much so contemplating I was like okay is this for me like I'm nervous like it is it is a lot but like I know I was capable of doing it and I told myself you signed up for it you must finish and I was definitely a uh, it's been a pool, you know, like I love this field and I love working with kids like I love it I don't see myself the future of not working with kids like I love kids too much Even like if I was to in the future do like ministry for the youth um, I would love that as well like for my church or anything of that sort like I love kids and I guess I was just fresher than myself because I, I, I could I mean maybe if you guys are in the master's program as well you could probably relate in, or in general if you guys are in college as well like there's a, just a time and a place where you just feel burnt out and I did take a year gap basically after I got my bachelor's degree I took a year off and then I jumped into my master's right after and again it's been a heck of a roller coaster ride and um, I'm just honestly really excited to like begin basically the next steps in my career. So for my fall, I do take, I want to say it's three classes. No, I'm taking two classes in the sun. I'm sorry, in the fall. I'm gonna see if I can take those two classes online because that would be great. But in the spring, I start my student teaching. Obviously, I have to prep for everything and I have to study for the RECA and I also have to take my CSET. If you look at my YouTube history, it's literally like the Rika, 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 Rika. And I don't know, like right now I was trying to see if online too where I could kind of get like the CSET like physical book I'm just a physical book kind of girl like I I like it physically there I don't mind having it online but I tend to like gravitate more towards it when it's like a book book um, I'm gonna link down below for you guys if you guys are also studying for the Rika the videos that like have been honestly really helping me a lot so it has like a lot of like visual aids and for me I'm a visual learner so definitely that's been helping me tremendously but um, it is kind of hot right now outside so I'm gonna go see if by any chance I, I don't know if the building buildings are open right now because uh, again I'm doing online summer school so I don't know if uh, the, like the actual buildings are open because if they are let's go inside real quick because it's a little bit hot I also need to pee so <laughs> okay hi guys so update I am walking to my actually my main building that I'm always in I want to kind of show you guys real quick around my campus. If it gets really hot, I'm gonna walk back. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, did I just sit on roly polies? Hey, update, the roly polies are safe. Everything's basically closed. <laughs> so we're gonna eat some lunch that I brought from my house. So I have myself a burrito. What the heck is smacks? Sorry. <laughs> I'm definitely sitting on Omegas, but it's okay. This is a really good burrito. Man, this is bomb. We love, we love this. A lot. Is that a squirrel? That is literally a squirrel, and as I said that, it stopped. Hey, Amen. Are you coming this way? No, yeah, that's so good. I'm definitely getting bit. What is that? Is that a centipede? Oh, hell no. What's new with you guys? I feel like... I want to just chat with you guys like we're legit just on FaceTime. I'm like, tell me what's up with you guys. Let me know if you guys are almost like wrapping up school or graduating soon. Or, you know, if you're like booed up or whatever. <laughs> I think I'm going to start heading out now. So with that being said, let's go. Wow, Ness, you look tanned. I know. You look super tanned. I know. Hi guys, welcome. Um, today is the next day and basically my sister's right here. You wanna say hi, Nessa? Hi. Hey guys, my sister is here. Hi, my sister's gonna be heading out real quick, but I wanted to show her I got a you package. Where? To the mailbox. She wants me to go to the mail office or with the her. Office. The post office with her. Sorry. She said the mail office. 
the is mailbox. The mailbox. Mm -hmm. But my sister, I got a package in the mail and I wanted to show you guys real quick. So give me a second. I got a package from American Eagle and I placed an order from some swimsuits. And I wanted to show my sister because she's always kind of like my hype woman and she tells me like, yes, keep, yes. I wanted to show you guys basically what I got recently. I also got a couple things from Gymshark. Um, one being this top, which I really, really like. It's like a workout top, super cute. Um, my sister's right behind the camera. <laughs> okay, we got some stuff. One, I ain't gonna show it because I definitely needed to pick up some new breath a bustier as they say i have been wanting to get like a basically a new bra and um <laughs> i'm shy <laughs> Why? well i don't know about the bra i got this <laughs> <laughs> but i really like this because one more i don't know if it's just me or you or i don't know or even if you do you like your bras to be wired or like a t-shirt type of bra no i like wired you like wired i need oomph. I, I like t-shirt bras you do. that's why you was a saggy <laughs> You know, Vanessa, oh. I didn't need you to come for me that hard. <laughs> My sister's commentary will be in, in the vlog. Because she doesn't want to show herself, but <laughs> but she's in here. I picked up two swimsuits. Oh my god, I've been wanting a Dude, color like that. Dude, this is so cute. Okay, so... Um, my family and I are taking a family trip and the majority of the time there it's basically known a little bit more to like wear a little bit more one pieces because over there it's one really really hot but we also do like a lot of theme parks there and when we're doing like zip lining and all of that sometimes if you wear a two piece you gotta hold it on for dear life <laughs> so I prefer wearing like a one piece bikini and like it's just a lot more comfortable but I picked up this one right here and I'll probably put a picture right here of like kind of how it looks but um i like it because it's like it has like a nice coverage and that's what i like you know so it just looks like this it's really pretty i like the oh color. i saw that online yeah i like the color and then this the price of it this one it's crazy because these were on sale right now on american eagle so i don't know if it's because everything's like summer basically almost over so the original price of this is 62 dollars and i got it for 25 dollars let me look it up 25 dollars which is a good steal so yeah you just basically wrap it in the front and it has really good coverage in it and i just picked it up in black as well honestly so, i think my favorite bathing suits are from them i love like aries bathing suits are so nice if you guys want like a oh i forgot to check in. yeah i love aries bathing suits oh yeah they're 50 percent yeah, off right now bathing suits are 50 percent off right now and that's a it's a good deal so yeah look i also got like this little skirt wrap but this was for like a separate package but it basically wraps around so it's like from this where? from aries and i got it for 10 bucks 10 bucks guys the original price of this is 30 dollars so i'm telling you they're having like a sale right now i would definitely recommend but today's agenda, ladies and gentlemen, is, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've been piling up a certain amount of clothes on the side that I've been meaning to sell on to Poshmark. I was basically putting a lot of my clothes on sale on Poshmark maybe about like a couple months back and it kind of stopped because of school. But today I think I'm gonna start putting, like taking pictures of the actual like pieces itself and then putting it up onto the Poshmark page. I definitely need to, uh, it's time again. And it's, I think the clothes are piling up too much. I will leave my Poshmark uh, link below. I don't know by the time this vlog goes up if the clothes will be live. If they are, I'll comment in the, basically in the comments below to let you guys know it. That's basically a little bit of today's agenda. It's gonna be a very chill day and I made myself some food already. Yeah, I have like, again guys, a, a bunch of clothes that like I wanna just add onto my Poshmark. My sister's gonna literally be jacking the clothes. I'm so sorry guys, <laughs> but do not I have I have I have this I have the good stuff for y'all don't you worry I really want to do like a pop-up shop thing of like clothing like basically like a yard sale thing I've been wanting to do this for so long I just I don't know one I know as far as like property wise if we show up somewhere they'd be like you guys have registration to be here or something I'm like no but we got clothes if you want them <laughs> why don't you just do a park I mean see we could do a park too but I or don't like somewhere where there's like um Cause like you know how we see like basically like those pop up shops that or not pop up shops do it but at the beach that would be cool like La then, like like Luna or something yeah and then you could just say which tower you're at or and or just like a parking like in the parking lot of the beach or something yeah but yeah it's just hard with like parking I know because I would not want you guys to pay for parking like I'm like no I I would I would a beach would be great I know maybe one beach in particular where it would be easy to meet up at I'll be praying over it and hopefully like one of these days I'll be able to do that because that would be amazing I, I've been wanting to do that honestly I want to say for like about like maybe about a year now so you guys are gonna see the behind the scenes of me putting all the, the Poshmark stuff up I was doing like a little Bible study I'm reading the book of Job and I was expressing it to my sister of like basically 
the whole story of it kind of and all of it but let me show you guys my little doodles if you guys want to do like a whole bible study let me know because i would love that but just doing my own little bible study right now honestly drawing pictures help a lot for me i'm definitely a visual learner <laughs> so um and then i also use this website called or this youtube channel called bible project and they give a lot of visual aids which i love because again i'm a visual kind of girl so um they basically give you like a breakdown of like a quick summary let me show you guys this real quick okay Turn around the camera. <laughs> okay, as she tries on the dress, let me show you guys real quick. This is the actual like website I was referring to, or the YouTube channel. Um, it's called Bible Project. So it's right there, guys. And literally, it gives you like a whole, oh, let me see, like rundown. Okay. There are three books in the Bible known and it's, as- It's super cool. I, I really do like it, so. Cover is the whole thing, because I don't know if I get copyrighted, but uh, my sister's trying on the dress. Yes, Vanessa. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> So, we're in my sister's room. This is normally where I take my pictures for, uh, what is it called? For Poshmark. <laughs> so, let me put this down real quick. Sorry for her mess. I know that if I move her stuff around, I don't know if it's an older sibling thing or what, but if I move anything from her room, she will know. So, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> but, this is normally where I put the clothing. She has like a little shelf thingy here. Oh, sorry guys. She has a little shelf thingy here. And this is where I kind of basically hang the clothes, style the clothes, because I like it to look like natural lighting in the room, which is why I come over here. <laughs> because my sister's floor of her room, it's like a light bamboo. So the light like bounces and reflects beautifully in here. And my room has dark wood floor. So like basically around like one to like maybe 4 p.m. is when the lighting looks the absolute like chef's kiss. But after that, it looks a little dull so i come in here sometimes if i need to ever film so little heads up for those who are ever curious of like why is she filming in her sister's room that is why <laughs> so um to basically start off i have majority of the clothes somewhat a little bit separated the clothes that you guys first saw already on top of my actual stack of clothes that is basically the most recent i have like basically canasta under that where those clothes are basically recent as well but i've been kind of just they just been kind of piling up so i think it's definitely time so for example i have this super sick jacket right here it's just like a white little windbreaker and then it has like this super sick retro-y like design right here love this jacket it's so cool so basically what i do is i take the jacket or whatever clothing item it is <laughs> and i basically hang it up here and then i like to somewhat have it a little bit styled if that makes sense and then all i do is i take my phone and i basically make the jacket the model piece and then typically i normally don't actually edit the photo because i want it to look basically as natural as it possibly can and then i also take a picture of the size that way you guys could see it very clearly and then i take pictures of like the little details of it has as well sometimes if anything i'll take a picture of the back just because i know that sometimes some people are like curious if there's anything designed on the back and then take a picture of that, bada bing, boom, done. <laughs> so that's one piece I'm taking a picture of. And I basically do everything the same thing. The only difference is for jeans, I like to hang up the jeans and I do incorporate like size and everything as well. not my favorite color because it is look at it and i had not worn this it still has the tag on it brand new whopping 12 bucks you're gonna see this on poshmark for five look how cute this is like a little off the shoulder moment it's stephanie janelle vega que te pasa que no te pones tu ropa huh huh my sister, I don't know if you guys hear, she's like, you have a shopping problem. So do you. These, <laughs> I love these. These are my, f these were my first ever pair of, what is it, Aritzia pants? Dude, <laughs> these are so cute. I think they were like probably 90 something. It's Aritzia, but the design on these are so cool. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but these are so sick. Yeah, I want you. Where you on my side. 
Okay, another round. I thought I was gonna just do this round, but I think, you know what? I'm gonna go all out or nothing, you know? So, let's do this one too. Okay guys, so we just, well I just finished basically doing all of the clothing. Now we'd go on to the actual posh mark of it and I basically just start putting all the photos up of the clothing and then I put like the description of it and all of that stuff. I'm still in my sister's room. She's actually editing right now. If you guys, wait. It's a mess. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my sister is actually a photographer so uh, she takes photos professionally and she does like weddings and all of that stuff so she's basically working for her clients right now if you ever need photos i'll put my sister's instagram below as well for you guys um but yeah i'm just gonna basically this is literally my camera roll right now it's literally all the pictures i just took of like <laughs> all of that um but yeah so i'm basically gonna start editing these well I'm basically gonna start uploading these and then putting them on my Poshmark. I wanna say this Poshmark of clothing will probably go live this Friday. So by the time this video goes up, which will go up for you guys tomorrow, so while you guys are watching it on that Friday of that week, basically there'll be a new live uh, clothing items live on my website. So if you guys wanna check it out, uh, you guys are more than welcome to. So this is actually my Poshmark page right now. So. Um, I basically would put like dresses and all of that stuff. Honestly, I loved, I think this, this one was the one I was referring to. Like a lot of the pricing is very much so like reasonable. This is the one I had told you guys that like I sold it for 50 bucks because the original price of these pants were like a hundred and something. But normally for the majority of the time, don't worry. Like I'll kind of show you guys like the actual like website page where I bought the pants from if I know that these were like a little bit more pricier um but like literally everything on my website is basically like this was 10 bucks um and it's it's really much so <laughs> like nothing's too crazy 10 bucks 12 bucks dresses you will see for 10 bucks jeans as well like maybe nine I see yeah, I sold these jeans for nine dollars so again everything I try my best to sell it for a reasonable price my actual Poshmark page is the same as my Instagram handle so it's the same as Stephanie V 16 which by the way if you guys want to keep catch up with me throughout the weeks and see what I'm doing like throughout the day my here's my Instagram handle as well so um, but yeah I'm gonna just work on that and I will catch up with you guys right now hey, Hi guys, <laughs> so it is much later in the day now. I just finished getting ready, but I'm actually gonna be heading out to church right now. So I wanted to hop on here and end the vlog for you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for like basically like chilling with me and like catching up and just having a good old like a me and you day type of thing. So, but as always guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this week's video. If you guys did, do not forget to give it a big schniggy. And as always guys, be your own kind of beautiful and spread peace, love and positivity. And I will see all you guys' beautiful faces next week. Also, stay tuned. Um, this Friday, I'm for sure dropping the Poshmark sale. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for just being you. I, I, have a, I love you guys so much. So, okay, I'm being... Sorry, I'm being cheesy. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>